everyone, it's Olivia from Live's Healthy Life. Today I'm just making a video with a few different tips or uh, pieces of advice for people who are vegan and trying to navigate their way through the holiday seasons. It's Canadian Thanksgiving this weekend, so I thought it was timely for people who live in Canada, for people who live in the States or other parts of the world. Um, you can use this later. <laughs> My first tip is for people who are newly vegan and they still want to attend their regular family gathering but you've just become vegan and you don't want to be a burden to the host or you don't want to be that awkward person that just doesn't really eat anything. My tip for you is to just make your own meal and bring it with you. There's some amazing Thanksgiving recipes that you can make that are vegan and I can link a bunch of them below. I've made a lot of different things for different holidays and it's definitely I think the best option when you're just starting out being vegan because then you kind of avoid any awkward situations or you don't feel like you're you know being a, the difficult person. Another thing you can do is if you're fine with just having side dishes, if they're just having like some vegetables on the side and potatoes, you can always ask them to set aside some potatoes before they put the milk and butter in. That's what I did and it was pretty easy and then you can just bring your own gravy or bring your own, one time I brought lentil walnut meatballs and it was really good. My second tip is for people who are like me right now getting into that point where um, being around large quantities of meat actually bothers you like the smell and um, just the atmosphere of it. I'm finding I'm having a lot of trouble now when there's just like a big ginormous plate of like ham or turkey or something. It just really started bothering me lately and the smell kind of makes me nauseous. It's not really anything that I control so if you know if people are kind of getting mad and saying like well, it, sh it never bothered you before um, just say you know like th things are changing and I'm just finding that it's making me feel a little bit nauseous or uncomfortable. My tip for you and myself is to just, you're just going to have to remove yourself from that situation. You might think it's more awkward to not go than to go and just be sitting there and feeling uncomfortable, but from my experience, definitely not going is the best option. If you're going to be sitting there feeling really upset and overwhelmed and kind of like sick, it's not going to be enjoyable for you or other people who are noticing that you're feeling like that. What I'm doing this Thanksgiving is my sister and I are going to her dorm room which is about 10 minutes away from my aunt's house and we're just gonna eat at her meal hall or something and then we're gonna walk up for dessert. It's still a good option you get to spend time with people you love but you don't have to be in that uncomfortable situation the whole time. So my third tip is for people who have a more adventurous family or um, adventurous friends who would be willing to go to your house and you cook a vegan Thanksgiving. My family definitely wouldn't go for this and we, I've tried lots of times but if your family is open to it offering to make a meal for people that's gonna be like healthy and still be really delicious I think definitely ask because you never know if people will surprise you with how open they are to stuff. So those are all my tips. Those are kind of the three scenarios that I see playing out during the holiday seasons. I think you kind of just have to assess your own personal situation, assess um, what you think people will go for and what you think will be the best choice for you, and then go from there. So yeah, I hope this is helpful. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos and leave any questions or comments in the comment section below, and I will see you soon. <laughs> Bye.